Hey guys, Big Sun here, and uh, boy, I'm late for this actually here. Like, like really, really late. Uh, issues and all that. But anyhow, so I've got uh, the uh, episode 11 of the motion manga, Bubble Suit Gundam Seed Eclipse. Oh boy, in which uh, <laughs> Hero's screwed here unless uh, Jenny can save him with that but. Sky Grasper with equipped with both of it again, like well, either way, it better be something because <laughs> again, again, the ale calamity. Jeez. Oh boy, it it is not good. He's getting his ass kicked. It's in it, it power just gone down to like beyond past the red line. So, Asian farmer down. Oh, okay, um, buffering a bit here, lost, like, both of those lost focus. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's like the lightning pack. Yeah, it's lightning pack. More damage it suffers. The more power uses to try to nullify that damage. You got it, my guys, only just how much damage has each suffered. The knockout gym is pe It was a mobile suit which changed the nature of battle during the last war. It was a mobile suit that changed. Then it's legendary face shift armor that changed the nature of mobile suit itself. I like the this, like strike gun right there. Two. Whoa! Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, I thought that was the. Uh, that this was a reference to when the shields were covered by black market tears, but no. To release electricity at a certain voltage and create a phase transitional reaction. The armor is made of a special metal. This makes an invulnerable steel attack even grant high heat resistance. The first mobile suit series to incorporate this technology that fundamentally altered the existing understanding of armor development were called G weapons. So I get to put the Aegis, the Buster. As the Union had fallen behind the plan to mobile development, it should have been a symbol of the Union's counteroffensive. Union. Or on the battlefield. Oh boy, that's pretty loud actually. They said for the fourth unit to compose of their nest egg elite to seize them, like the red coats. While the siege operation ended success, it also ended success. What R and D had been carried out. As the terra firma of plant citizen, and the f ooh, and the fact that the justification for development has had been the bloody Valentine incident caused Zach life of countless citizens and became a scandal. Yeah, I th that left long years sorrow in its wake. Yeah, that is, that is true. The destruction of Heliopolis was just a big deal that, yeah, Rada Crusade and Atherzal had to be recalled back to the homeland to essentially uh, stand up for a trial here, like uh, a trial like, to explain their action here. Like, they were supposed to capture the suits and not have to do it, then destroy the entire colony. Such uh, seems to be a great cause. Seizure of the, the GOP level staff was that in necessity. What? However, even at such great cause, seizures of the G weapons was for Zaf in necessity. And fall behind on facial armor, they had no choice but to see the unit and the technology for the Union with its superior resource with its superior resources, could develop base shifts, equip but will soon deploy them in fact. I love this. Okay, I, this this rich, this is hilarious right now. This, this little points out at, like, the Zav quarters think themselves so special, so superior, much smarter, and, uh, yet, who were the ones that developed, uh, phase shift armor and everything? It wasn't coordinators. It was a bunch of naturals here. So, and you, and you guys had to steal the weapons made by who they consider inferior. Uh, I love the hypocrisy here.
Yeah, I think that's Rusty right there. We got Miguel. In the end, however, their fears were baseless. The combat of was far too high. Furthermore, this was because the phase actually requires constant consumption of a certain level of yeah, electrical energy, and they have low lifespan battery lives. Or better for a mobile suit that Unequipped with a massive source of electricity, the limitation of operating time for you to zap you to carry out mass production. Yeah, but that's the M1 Astray! Yeah! In the end, both armies had on using cheaper technology like anti beam shield and laminated armor. Even, even laminated armor was a little too costly. They really botched this translation right here. I mean, I can my time destroying that machine with you. I can take my time. It's over? Why well, it's like nearly been sent as a I've been sent a foil? Yeah, pretty much. Also, they're only, only, they only have only had one mobile suit. One mobile suit. Hmm. Well, to get in a hurry, huh? He's one of those. Take this. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Oh. Woo. Oh, ha, ha. Batty flinch on. Batty not recharge. Yeah, of course. That's what, that thing has a battery pack. So, hmm? they didn't, they all, they uh, kind of skipped over exactly the, how phase shift has to be manufactured. It's got to be done in a zero G environment. So in a way, it's very similar to like Gundanium alloy, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like the mobile suits change. I like how they mentioned, but yeah, if it was, the mobile suit changed the nature of battle during warfare. And a lot of people, the um, biggest thing, of course, people th always think, well, Minofsky particles, or the end jammers, Ahab waves. True, there's settings here, but are we kind of forgetting the settings where, that's not an issue here, where, pe where people say, oh, mobile suits are only um, affected because there's these certain other elements here. Again, Minofsky particles, but... What about the settings where there is no such thing? Like wing, X, age, heck, even double O prior to the Gundams and GN Drive and GN Parkle coming into being here. Like the four the three power blocks had most suits, and there was nothing like them that caused massive interference. And yet they and yet they made most suits work. So yeah, I still think so yeah, most suits are the future. Giant robots. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, well, suits changed the nature of war during the last war. And then phase shift armor changed the nature of mobile suit itself here, but it didn't matter here because it's too expensive. It was still far too expensive. They, they've advanced technology, but until they actually make 
Yeah, Hylian, their fears were baseless. Yeah, you need uh, zero G facilities to make mobile suits here, and right now, that's that's not that's not much. And granted, new technologies have evolved here, like manufacturing base shift armor has become a bit well easier to the point where even like a private army, a private PMCs can have their mobile suits equipped with base shift armor here. Uh, look at Serpent Tail with a uh, guy's partner, mobile suit partner there. He had his uh, Zaku that had customized with face shift armor. So yeah, technology has evolved here, but I'm, I'm back during the one year, during the uh, Bloody Valentine War here, the first one. It was still far too expensive. But yeah, like by I think by post Sea Destiny, things would have been it would have advanced enough to the point where yeah, more and more suits models can be equipped can be made with face shift armor. Of course, this is said between the events of Seed and Sea Destiny, but either way, but I do like all the uh, nods here to everything. Like we got the M1 Astray, we got the Aegis, the Buster, with the Strike there. Uh. And yeah, we've got and people technology like anti beam shields, anti beam shield coating, and uh, laminated armor, which is what the 105 daggers had. They're still a hard to work with, but they, but yeah. And we see just how bad it was here. Like they take so much here, and now we got. A, so this is a. It looks like they could be. The, an improved version of the lightning pack here. I like how it gives that visor right here. Reminds me of, oh boy, one of the uh, TR, TR Gundams from uh, Advance of Zeta. So yeah, also a uh, new pack to buy for math for the Master Great Eclipse. <sighs> so yeah, everyone, I think this is all cool and all. I, I like how we're getting these little bits here, but Hmm. Not much. Fight was brutal though, and that's all I can say. So this is more of a just info drop chapter, unfortunately. Oh well, so thank you for watching. As always, comment what you all thought. Like for more videos. So next one, see you next time. Long out.